We're ready to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Three-yard gain by the running back. It was a pretty good play here by the junior safety stepping up and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. Quick throw. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. It's a great run, and he's brought down in the backfield. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That'll bring us second to the From their own 37-yard line, second down. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Makes it fourth and long. The punting team's got to give their kickers some time. He really got a hold of that one. He fields a punt at the 20, and he just got stood up right there. The Bobcats have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 31-yard line. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. He wants it all going long. Good tackle there in space. Well, you give up too many passes like that, and the game will be done before you know it. They cannot let these receivers get behind them. Gets rid of it. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 22 yard line. As a man, he'll lose big yards. They stop for a six yard loss on the play. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. around the 23-yard line. It's fourth down. They're going to try a long field goal here. Ohio could take the lead with this field goal. It's up, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 3 nothing. Ohio. He sends this one deep. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Ohio's in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Yeah. Rid of it. 
So it's second and ten. Ball on the 25-yard line. Let's go! They bring him down at the 32. quickly to the tailback, and he's tackled at the 34. The D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He goes out of bounds at the 23-yard line. They're set to go for another round. Ohio is up a field goal. He's taken down around the 33-yard line. Even if you're pulling for the other team, you've got to just admire this guy's speed. He is special. And he tackles him hard at the 49. He really showed some good speed there. I'll tell you, no question. When you talk about being able to turn on the Jets and leave everybody in the dust, you have to mention this young man. He's got skills, but his speed is what the pro scouts are drooling about. Brought down around the 40-yard line. He's at the 30. Gains his way to the 23-yard line. That's good for the game, 17 yards. That makes it first and 10. Ready! Ready! Easy! Nice run, and he's brought down. Good for a game, 16 yards. That will make it second and four. the left and that sets them up for the first and goal that's good for a gain of eight yards it's first down and they'll be looking for six points here three down three down hey check check mike 11 ready why check check regular 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 just throws this one away here's the eighth play of the series Holds a field goal lead. They go with a run and they stopped him. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. This isn't much more than an extra point. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ohio's got a great defensive game plan, and it's working right now. Well, even from up here, Brad, you can see their defensive speed, and they're just playing with kind of an aggressive attitude. They're going to have to maintain that to slow down this offense. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They hand it off. He fights forward to about the 26. That's a team of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. He has some room. And down he goes at the 46. And he's level at the 39. That's the one that's seven on the play. That'll make it second and long.
They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Mike 38, Mike 38, Mike 38, ready! Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled in the open field. A tight, low-scoring game in that first 15 minutes. Let's see if things open up in the second quarter. 6-0, Ohio. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. of an opportunistic defense coming up with the fumble. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much and that can cause mistakes. Ohio with a six-point lead. The 41. Big opening. Ready. To the tailback, and he's met in the backfield. Those linebackers do a great job of stopping the run, but they need to be careful to play action pass. You can easily get fooled and give up some big yards through the air. So it's second and 13. Ball on the 46. And they make the stop at the 46 yard line. Tackle behind the line. Loss of three. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. Booming kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with. Because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. It's second down now, 13 to go. Ball on their own 17. Mike 38, Mike 38, Mike 38. Here we go, hot 180. White, hot. He's out of bounds around the 19 yard line. Throw, he caught it. He's knocked out of bounds at the 27. That's a gain of eight on the play. That brings up fourth and three. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. You know, this offense is doing a pretty good job moving the football. The problem is they're not coming up with touchdowns. The offensive coordinator who's been up here next to us, Brad, in the booth next to us, he's actually just taken off his headsets, and I think he's going down to the field to be next to the quarterback and the rest of this offense to try to engage with them to realize how important it is to finish these drives. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. That'll make it second 
Ohio is up by six. Tackle around the 37 yard line. Here's third and nine. Ball on their own 37. Everybody up close. It looks like they're coming after this kick. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. He's to the 40. I give the defense credit, but right now, I mean, four cases, sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Throws a bullet over the middle, and he's taken down at about the 49. Five wide. Got a man complete, he's hit hard. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Incomplete, and that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. He did not get to the first down marker. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. some early movement up front. False start, offense. Sometimes what happens on a false start is a lineman will see Still movement on the down. other side of the ball and be coaxed into jumping early. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. They line up to kick this one away. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Momentum swings have been fairly even. 
And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Ohio is up by three. And he's immediately tackled. Getting the ball to your tight end and allowing him to make plays in the passing game can really open things up on the outside for your real speedsters. He's pushed out of bounds at the 38. It's second and eight. Ball on the 38. He heaves it deep. Oh, boy, almost intercepted. Boy, this is a great play by the safety to be able to be in a position to make this play, but he's got to be able to hold on to the football. You know, he's a big, physical, athletic guy, but you've got to be able to secure a football and make a big play when it presents itself. And it's picked up by one of the linemen, and he's still on his feet. They'll bring him down right around the 38-yard line. Well, we're headed to halftime now. We're seeing two defenses that don't want to give an inch. The Bobcats with a three-point lead. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Ms. Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. The stats are certainly not overwhelming from an offensive standpoint. These two teams averaging less than six yards per pass attempt. That's not really what you're after in the passing game. But a lot of it can be attributed to really good defense. I, look, you know quarterbacks want to take care of the ball first, but yeah. they also want to push it down the field. How do you balance that with this guy? Not a lot of room downfield to throw the ball, it doesn't seem, but he's taking the check down pretty quick. Yeah, well, and, and if there is no room down the field, and you see, you don't see very many open receivers just streaking. I mean, you, you haven't seen that. So the defense is doing a good job of taking that deep stuff away. But the number one thing is, if you're going to bail out, Reese, and you give them that underneath, underneath stuff, that, that easy pass completion, you got to tackle. And, and that's what they're doing. They're coming up, and they're not letting him, you know, throw a seven-yard route that goes 50 yards. And, and that's one of the biggest keys to defense. Let them throw the underneath stuff, come up, make a good tackle, live to fight another down. You know, I had a wise coach once tell me, teams do not beat you throwing and catching. They beat you by running after the catch. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including – some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astroturf turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. Boy, I hope the second half's as good as the first. Just about set to start the third quarter in a tight one. Excellent kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Ohio has a three-point lead. Gets out to around the 35. That makes it first and ten. They'll give it off here. And he's tackled at about the 45. That's a deal of 10 on the That brings in second and nine. Check, check back, check back, check Got some open field. Defense looked like it jumped early there. Offside. Defense. Some guys are dangerous no matter where they are on the field. Whether they have speed, elusiveness, great vision, whatever the case may be, you have to find ways to get the ball in their hands. He might have a chance. He's taken down at the 33-yard line. Hard game in 12 yards. First down. Coming this way, coming this way. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. Up the middle for a nice game. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. Brought 
down at the 11. That's not everyday speed you're talking about with this guy. This is a unique burst combined with a really impressive field vision. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. And this play is number eight on the drive. Ohio is up a field goal. Scoops it up. They work hard and they got the turnover. Well, this is what it's all about. Defense taking advantage of an opportunity. They're pouncing on the loose ball. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Nice run, and he's brought down. Tackle outside after a nice pickup. It. He's in space. And down he goes at the 31. He's hit and taken down. And a quick throw. That'll be a two-yard loss. They really just didn't have any room to work on that play. The defense just suffocated him there. Bring up second and 12. Second down, about 12 yards to go. Ball on the 29. Ready! 180! One! There's a strike complete, and he's down. in and hit immediately for a loss. At the 32-yard line. That'll bring up fourth and nine. And they're coming after this punter. And this one is a beauty. What a hit. So he got a little on that return. Well, Brad, early it looked like there was an opening there, but the seam closed quickly. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. He makes his way out to about the 35. A gain of eight on the carry. That makes it second and two. Ohio holds a field goal lead. And now he's got room to run. That's a And he's level at the 44 yard line. And he hits him hard at the 45-yard line. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. Got some open field. And he shoved out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That makes it second and two. Check 
Gets out to around the 25. That's a game of 12 on the play. From the 25-yard line, first down. They'll go Brown. Inside the 10. He's tackled at the 5. Defense coming to the line. They'd like to force another red zone fumble and keep points off the scoreboard here. Breaks a tackle and he'll score. Touchdown. Converts the extra point. So that's an eight play, 71 yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. So the score now 13 3. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They were forced to punt the ball away the last time they had it. They'll be looking for a little more out of their offense on this possession. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. Run left side, and they make the stop right around the 24-yard line. These guys have the capability to gain solid, consistent yardage. They have to regroup, come out a bit more motivated next time. From their own 24-yard line, second down. Ready, Ryan, 68, Ryan, 68. And he throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Let's go. Going deep, lays it out there. Interception. And he tackles him hard at the 33. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 33. They go with the runner. He's taken down behind the line. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. Anytime you give the ball, you guys want to hope that they hang on to it. Play action. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room. And to finally knock him out, the 21. That's a big play right there. If they can get this ball into the end zone, you're looking at a one-possession game. yard line. Tackle at the 16 yard line. Here we 
Fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Defense stacked in tight here. End zone, touchdown. Just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. You knew they had to dial up something big, but these kids really dug deep for an absolutely huge play. Trying to get within a field goal. They'll try the point after. He makes the PAT. Syracuse to kick. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. Ohio is up by three. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That brings him second and five. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Here comes the pressure. He gets rid of this one. That's exactly how they drew it up in the sideline, and now they get the ball back. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. Knocked out of bounds at the 29-yard line. Ohio's just come storming back in this fourth quarter. Yeah, and they're not done yet. There's still time there. They're thinking about maybe winning this game. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Let's go! Red, up. Slings it. Tackle made at the 42. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Number 25 was From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. job here by the defense if you let this quarterback set and throw he'll kill you all game but they got excellent pressure on that play throws complete big loss that brings us fourth and 15. Less than three minutes in the game. It's away, and it's a booming punt. He takes it in at the 14. Tackle made at the 25-yard line. Man, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've gotten pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Quick throw, and he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. He unloads it. Incomplete. And there wasn't anyone in the vicinity. I think the ball just slipped out on him. 
Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 44-yard line. Six. Brad, that's a huge first down for this offense. At this point, the defense's only hope is they've got to try to rip that ball away from the quarterback or the running back to get the football back to their offense because the clock now is a big factor. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. On the ground with a tailback. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Syracuse out of timeouts. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Here he goes. They'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. First down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. That's a great tackle at the 16. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 16 yard line. Here we go. Red 85. Red 85. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. Tenth play of the drive. And this one's all but wrapped up. The Bobcats with the victory. 13-10. So that wraps things up for us, for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.